Hey everyone, I'm Ishif with Softarino and you're about to see how to transfer audiobooks from your computer into your iPhone. We're going to go over two simple methods. Method one is going to be emailing yourself this audiobook and then you can play it from the Files app on your iPhone. And for method two, we're going to send this audiobook directly into our iPhone's Books app. Both of these methods work on your Windows PC or a Mac, so come on and follow along. Here's the audiobook I need to send over to my iPhone and all we have to do for method one is send this through an email. So go ahead and open your internet browser. Go to Gmail or Hotmail or any other email that you like to use. Compose a new email and put yourself as the sent address. Now all you have to do is drag this audiobook into your email. Because this audiobook is a little bit large, Gmail wants me to upload this to my Google Drive and that's okay. I'm going to let it do its thing and this could take some time depending on your internet speed. Now that the audiobook is uploaded to our Google Drive, all we have to do is press send. Now. Over on our iPhone, go ahead and open the Mail app. Here you'll find your new email that you just sent yourself. Go ahead and press on it. It's going to want to open inside of Google Drive and press Save. For some reason, it wants to save it into the Photos app on your iPhone and nowhere else, so we're going to let it do that before we send it into the Files app. And once it's done, open your Photos app and find this new file you just downloaded. Here you can see I have this audiobook and it's a couple of hours long but we can't hear anything inside of the Photos app and that's why we're going to go ahead and press the share button and then save it to files. Now it's finally saved to our files app where we can actually listen to it. So go into your files app, find where you saved the file and now you can press play. So you can play the audiobook inside your files app and there are a couple of cool settings such as changing your playback speed but there's a huge problem. If you exit out of this files app, so once you're done listening for the day, you want to close the app or just scroll away from it, the Files app will not save where you left off. And that's why I prefer the iPhone Books app because it will save your progress and it has a ton more features than just the audio playback speed. So for method two, we can send this audiobook directly into our iPhone Books app using this awesome app called Walter Pro. If you want to follow along, you can download Walter Pro's free trial using the link in the description below. All you need is an email address so we can send you the activation link. So after you've downloaded and installed the Walter Pro trial, go ahead and launch it. Now you want to connect your iPhone to your computer, whether it's a Windows PC or a Mac, and you'll instantly see your iPhone pop up inside of the Walter Pro app. And it's so simple. All you need to do is drag this audiobook into Walter Pro onto your iPhone, and boom, within seconds, it will show up inside your iPhone's Books app. So go ahead to your iPhone and open your Books app, and here's the audiobook. There are a ton of reasons why you should be using the iPhone Books app instead of the Files app, and it's not just the audio playback speed, there are other features such as the sleep timer, and of course, you can actually save your progress. So if you stopped at like 87 minutes into the audiobook and you wanna go and do something else, the next time you go into the Books app, you can pick up exactly where you left off without having to fuss about and find out. Walter Pro can do a ton of other awesome things. My favorite thing to do using Walter Pro is actually sending my own songs into Apple Music. So sometimes you find that awesome song on YouTube, but it's not on Apple Music or Spotify. Well, using Walter Pro, you're actually able to add these songs directly into your Apple Music library. And I do this for all my songs. I no longer have an Apple Music subscription. I just go ahead and download all the songs for free onto my computer. And then using Walter Pro, I'll send all of these songs into my iPhone. And because of Walter Pro's awesome AI features, it makes sure that the songs show up correctly with the correct name, artists, any featured artists, the album name, and even album art cover. Walter Pro does a lot more than just send music and audiobooks. It can send any type of file you want into your iPhone. Even if it's not compatible with your iPhone, it's gonna make sure it's compatible by converting the file into iPhone friendly material. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave us a like and comment down below which method you prefer. And make sure you subscribe because we post tons of awesome Apple tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Soft Torino. Tiny apps that make a gigantic difference.